List slicing is one of the most powerful things in Python, and here is all you need to know. Given a list with six elements that starts at index zero and ends at index five. To slice this list, now we can use this single syntax where we say list, and inside brackets we can define a new sequence given the parameters start, end, and step. Okay, let's see these parameters all in action. We create a variable called sliced list where we pass the slicing to, then we say list square brackets to prepare the slicing. Let's start with the simplest. When we say index one colon, we indicate we wanna slice the list starting at index one, including index one to the end of the list because we don't pass a specific end parameter. When we add a simple print statement here and run the code we see, we get the list sliced from banana to fig. When we now add, for example, a four as the end parameter, we get the list sliced from index one until index four, but the fourth index is not included. When we run this, we see elderberry, which is index four, isn't included in the list. That concept is crucial to understand. Okay, now let's add, for example, a step parameter of two to grab every second item. When we print this, we see we get the item from index one and three and not the last item because it's not in the end range of index four. If we want to slice the list until a specific index, we can use a similar syntax like in the first example. Just remove the start and step parameters so we have colon index four left. When we run this, we see we get all items until index four, which is again excluded. Nice, huh? To slice a list with every second item from the original list, we can simply add the step parameter after two colons, like shown here. When we run this, we get the items of the indices zero, two, and four back. Okay, two more tricks. When we only want to get the last item of the list, we can simply say in the brackets minus one without the need of a colon. Or, if we want to get the list up to the last item, we can simply add a colon in front of the minus one. And the last one is, if we make the step parameter negative, like here with minus one, we can invert the list. To use the start and end parameters here as well, we have to change them, so start gets end, and otherwise. And that's it. I hope you learned something new, happy coding, and I see you in the next one.